Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Dear viewers today we will discuss about some tips and tricks in etabs so let's start first we will see custom elevation view for example after design this column this column this column this this and this this all columns fails if we want to see this failed column at the same time with a custom elevation then we can see it go to draw draw developed elevation definition click on ok now select the columns you want to see in the elevation this one this one this one this one this 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 and this then press on right side of the mouse that means enter so here you can see uh, in the 3d view it will show the elevation marking when i will place the cursor in this window in the right side window it is showing the custom elevation view and here we can see the result for reinforcement requirement or percentage of river required For example, here we have circular stair. I'll draw a line, any line from here to here. Draw snap option perpendicular, apply like this. Divide this one, divide into two. This is the line. I'll draw a line here to get the node and from node to line it is another option linear extrusion from node to line for example the width of stair steps is 1.4 meter i will type here minus 1.4 in y direction because this will come down apply like this now this is my center and I will make circular stair using this line now go here extrude frames to shells radial extrusion I can click the click on the center point this is the center point then for example angle if it is clockwise then minus 10 degree minus symbol i will go for 10 degree number of degree 24 that means 240 degree it will rotate and from pin beam level to ground floor roof level it is 4 meter as it is written as drop that means from up to down so from down to up we have to take it as my negative symbol minus 4 meter as the floor height we will delete the source object okay then apply we have got it we can see in the another side like this this is our circular stair using the line to shell option extrude line this one extrude frames to shell and this one we can assign as a slab section for example 20 centimeter thickness for stair apply okay now this one we can delete here we can draw our slab for the rest part draw here it is perpendicular already selected here sorry we will draw another for example 16 from here 
to here, 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 then here. This one I will delete from here. Another one. We will start from here to here, then here. So now, like this, we can draw a stair, circular stair from frame to extrude frame to shell option. For another work, we can use this option. For example, here we have cantilever. So we will break this one. Now using this one, for example, one minus one point five meter cantilever per one. No need to delete because this is beam here. We need to keep it there. Apply like this. So this is our cantilever. Some of us, we, what we do, we go like this then we draw our slab this is this will take much time this is simple way and then we can assign the required thickness or assign thickness as per our selection selection way we know this is pointer option this is poly option select this one like this we can select from here 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 then right click in inside this area the object will be selected outside this area this line is full that side is not selected this one also we have gone through this way so this line extended outside this area so inside that area what line object is fully covered that line and joint will be selected now come to another selection option intersecting lines for example we want to select from here to here here all the in this line all the elements we want to select then press right click so in this line all the elements selected line slab all selected okay now if i want to go the previous go for the previous selection what we have selected before here is the option get previous selection like this these tips many of us we know but the new etabs user they can get benefit from this tutorial okay now we can go for another selection rule or selection way select coordinate specification like this for example xy plan this will be useful to assign diaphragm at the xy plan at flow level click on this click anywhere in this xy plan for example here all the nodes and elements will be selected now we can assign our diaphragm for example this one like this okay now we can we know this by using properties we can select different elements by labels also we can select for example we have got warning for a shell or line element we will see the label first to understand clearly frame level shell level for example we have got warning 
f15 and b110 are too close or f16 and f15 are too close then b110 and another line element lying here overlapping that is showing and the warning in that case we don't know where is that line if we don't select this option b110 f15 remember that level apply in this condition we don't know where is the frames b110 and f15 go to select then go to level shell level f15 select it will select this area see it is selecting in this way we can go for this view we don't want to see this one go to select sorry select level shell level 15 select like this if we want to select b110 level frame level select this one select see here it is selected so using this levels also we can select different elements in etabs now we will go for another tips some new users face this problem and they always ask about this tree option if we don't don't want to see this tree option here we can go to option here show model explorer this one select then it will not show here if we want to get it again go to option again this one select show model explorer so this will come today up to this thanks for watching stay tuned for more important tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update